What is going on, everybody? We're back on at Berserk 286, 287. Um, yeah, so YouTube was not having those uh, <laughs> those newly added songs that we had, which I know a lot of people like, but they were not having it. So I took them off. Um, feel free to leave some more suggestions. I'll try them out, um, and we'll see how it goes. Jumping into this, I think last uh, chapters we left off with my unfortunate disappointment of maybe how not close Ganishka would actually be able to challenge. Now, from a story-wise purpose, we know that he's not the one that's going to defeat Griffith, even if Griffith can be defeated. But I wanted to see maybe, sh maybe he shows us that like Griffith does have a weakness. There is something that maybe Guts could exploit, or maybe he could take out a handful of his you know, those elite um, apostles. Um, I don't think he would ever kill Zod, because that's, again, that's not his place to kill Zod. That'll be like a Skull Knight um, guts thing. Um, but I am, I went from like optimistic, like maybe there's a 50 50 chance that he could make Griffith have to work. I think it's at a absolute 0%. Absolute 0%. And that's unfortunate, because I had high hopes. I was hoping they could weaken each other um, for the greater good of guts in the group but it's it's unfortunately not happening um i'm assuming this is our man here i forget his name um Arnis is like uh what was that like her right hand man or whatever his name is i think his name starts with the a i can't remember but i'm assuming we're on a ship um i'm guessing he's gonna join the squad um and that's pretty much it let's just go ahead and get it let's press play on that Make sure everything's good. Lower the volume in this. We're recording. Mic is on. <clears throat> All right. 286. Oh, him and his Seijo are training. Nice. Hey, there's a lot of kids out there that... There's a lot of warriors out there that have never gotten this kind of work and experience that he's getting. If he makes it, I don't know if he's going to have a terrible fate... Like, I don't know if we're going to get, like, an Eclipse 3.0 type shit again. Where, like, a Cedro gets sacrificed, Farnese, Shirka, like, they just all die. But if this kid, if he makes it to his, like, old teen years, I'm talking, like, 17, 18, 19, and into his 20s, there, he might be one of the best warriors, if not the best warriors in the world, honestly. If he keeps this shit up, so we'll see. I know it doesn't look, you can't see the vision now, but yeah, yeah. Enough of your dancing, boy. Yeah, he, you just can't run forever, right? Surely. Okay, well, let's not waste food, though. Well, it's good to see that we got on a boat. I was, I wanted to see that process. Are they hitting my man in the privates here? I wanted to see that process of them. It, it was an absolute shit show. The dock, the harbor, the pier, whatever you want to call it. The fact that they were able to just like, oh, there's a good working, not burned down or damaged ship. I guess we'll get out of here, but I guess we're, we're not going to see that part. Ultimate kill. Hmm. Ooh, that was a close one. But balls are busted. <laughs> I knew he couldn't do it. He really had him cornered this time, though. He really had him cornered this time, though. He didn't land a hit today, either, huh? Oh there, lad. Those cannonballs aren't toys. Calm down, Navigator. It's good entertainment for a long voyage. I can't read any of this that he's saying. I'm the black... stashed knight? Is that what we're going with these days? Which one of us is heinous and inhuman? This is supposed to be sword practice, but all you use are scheming tricks. You're bereft of etiquette. It speaks much of the quality of your master. Yeah, whatever. It's my style. I do agree with that. The thing is, he has to do that, given his size, lack of experience, and his age. It's going to have to be a very without honor cutthroat type thing like i get you to slip i block i put a candle reflection in your eye and you can't see 
you know, I've got to get you like looking over here as I stab over. It's going to have to be that because he doesn't have the strength or the skill to just sit there and throw hands yet. So shames me. It does to say that as his master to blame for my disciples impropriety, I am. Hmm. I seem to be a bit seasick. Perhaps I'll go sweat it out. Yo, take off the helmet, sir. One time. The hell you say if you're done with your guests, get back to work? Oh. Work the day away, stow away night? Oh. I'm not here because I want to be. For I knew it, you lot had lugged me in my roost aboard. I should be fighting the Kashan on the battlefield right now? And quit snoozing? I mean, how could anyone sleep through the through that whole mess? Agreed. Oh my god, what is this YouTube ad saying I got this and this and this? Come on guys, we're we're trying to rock out here. There we go. Oh, you're hard at work, Vice Commander Azan? Eh, whatever do you who Azan was his name. I'm too ashamed to say I was dismissed from the Holy See. Who would have guessed our paths would cross again in a place like this? God works in mysterious ways. What happened? That night is still unbelievably unbelievable. What happened that night is still unbelievable, though. Retrana suddenly inflames the silhouette of a giant looming in the. F oh, oh, they're talking about him. <clears throat> I think they're talking about Kanishka. I thought they were talking. They were showing us that, were, that some people saw a um. God hand figure statue. The silhouette of a giant looming in the fog and booming thunder. At daybreak, you came back with that odd group. One was on the verge of death. Eh. And then those things. At first, the men were quite terrified. Sea dogs are highly superstitious, after all. Though, now that they know they're wind spirits, they seem to be popular as luck bringers. As for me, shady things like witches and elves are, well, I get it. I get it. Well, I was there to see it all, and I still barely understand any of it. But what's certain is that I owe them my life. One of them's incidental, though. We'll do our utmost to treat them courteously as our guests, especially the ladies. So what is his... what's the play here? Is it still deep down to just, like, take Farnese's hand in marriage, or is there, like, a different angle here? What are we going for? Especially that young lady. The navigators know his way around, all right. Okay, okay, we're not going to talk about it. What's Guts' condition? I have a feeling it's going to be bad. Listen, here's where it gets crucial. So you stand watch and don't let anybody in. No peeking from you either. I'll distract her. Um, from what exactly? The time for Farney's journey is finally here. Journey? To the netherworld. Oh. And she has to be naked for that? So she's going to go in. Like, she's going to fully commit herself. Like, we see Shirka kind of, like, give up her consciousness type thing, huh? I feel like that was... We I feel like we've pressed fast forward on some things. Like, I've missed a chapter or something. After I get to the end of this, let me make sure I didn't miss anything. Like, we're just... she's goes from, like, putting spells on apples to now we're going to put her ethereal body in the other... Man, I feel a little nervous now. You'll be fine. This realm is one with which you're inexperienced, but you are fully prepared. Please be confident. <sighs> now close your eyes, relax, and make your breathing peaceful, deep and slow. Can Shirka go in with her? Or does she need to like watch her from like the actual physical world? And then it's also like, how do you even know where to meet up with her spirit there? I don't know. Chant the lection? And your bodily sensations will gradually abate. Alright. Still deep. There's nothing more. Hands, feet, all sensations disappear. All that exists are my thoughts, the mind alone. Envision in the empty space just above your consciousness. Your hands, feet, your body. Every nook in the clothes you wear, slow and easy. Manifest it steadily. It's me. What if, like, deep down, we unlock something in Farnese here that's, like, really 
just dreadful. Because we know there's still memories in there and things, right? I'm curious once that's been exposed to power, that gets unlocked, like how that could go. Maybe, maybe it'll be fine. Overlap yourself precisely? Oh, she sees herself. She's fully ascended from it. Don't panic. Oh, Shirka's there too. Okay, good, 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 good. That makes it a lot easier because to just, to just like drop her in that world of like seeing herself or in the other dimension, how do you even like pull her back? What does that mean? Yada, yada. But okay, Shirka pulled herself out of her body too. Don't panic, teacher. That is your body in the astral world? Your luminous body? This is a luminous body. It is the fruit of training each and every day. Congratulations. Well, not well, not bad. Good thing you didn't come out looking like yeah. You can see me. Elves are ethereal bodies too, so she can as long as we're in a nearby stratum, whatever that means. Welcome to this doorway to the true world of magic. <laughs> They're just like hanging out. As the foundation of magic is to proceed to the spirits and address them one and address them oneself this is your first real step as a magic user Farnese amazing look what I can do I feel very moved teacher <laughs> be honest at first I was unable to believe that the single apple you gave me was connected to the miracle like magic you demonstrated teacher when I was alone after returning to my father I came to feel that even the whole journey up to then was some like a dream truth was I couldn't stand how useless I was even when I was with all of you. Vexed and miserable, I ran away. Strange, isn't it? I should have realized such a thing from the start. It's it's interesting because this is great for her. You know, I'm great she's finding it. But I did want her to become like Casca 2.0 as far as like her skills and her mental and seeing her like get the courage to go crazy with a sword and like stab people and defend and do this and do that. And I can understand the argument is like clearly that's not her but I wanted to see that become her like she didn't have a choice type thing she had to for her mental sake for those around her sake to protect those that she had to essentially become like the boy version the girl version of guts you know now she's found a different path that's a little more to her personality but unfortunate but even so you all came for me I thought even as I am I have some significance amongst these people what you talking about? If you're gone, we'll take care. Uh, okay, relax. I was the opposite. The important thing for me, the things with significance, were my mistress in the spirit tree. Were my mistress in the spirit tree force? Just them and the spirits that had surrounded us. To me, people were savage and corrupt. They were inhabitants of an outside world that had nothing to do with us. But as I journeyed with everyone this way, I found I sensed warmth and tranquility in those supposedly detestable people savage and corrupt yet warm meeting all of you brought about for me a sense of significance people possesses people possess come let's try going outside uh, now we don't want to fuck up and like fall in the water and like not get ourselves back right how does that work please do not let go until you are custom oh, I really am riding upon the wind it's a pretty dope shot. It's a pretty dope shot of her, I'm not gonna lie. Oh, he's not bedridden. Can he see them? I don't think so. Or, can they? Because I don't know if, like, it's the same way where, like, people can see elves, but people can't see elves, like what you've been exposed to and those type of things. They've been exposed to a lot. Um, but I don't... I'm surprised he's even up and moving. Whoa. That's a shot. Um, I didn't miss anything on 285, right? Before we go to 287, I'm just making sure. No, we got that. And we just fast forward. They got on a ship. Guts isn't even bedridden. Farnese has sped up her magic training. All right. What can you do? What can you do? Oh, that's where we were just at. I was like, wait, what? All right, 287. Here's this piece of shit. <laughs> the nice shot, though. It shows up so much more vibrant on my OBS when I record. 
like looking at the OBS, like I can see the the the, the blue, the purple accents, the the silver, the paleness of his skin, and kind of the yellow they put to it. When I look at it on the actual website, it come it almost all looks just like white. Like I don't know if you guys can see my cursor, but it kind of all just looks like panel itself. Hmm. Interesting. Interesting. Oh. Is that him? Is this what he would be like in color form when he's in the clouds? This like dark with red? I didn't even picture that. Oh god. Again, it like when I look at it on here, this looks like a little bit of red. I could even say this might be white. His hair and stuff, but here, like I can really see the blue, the gold of his jacket, the brown of his boots. Alright. Let's see what we got. Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't need that. I don't need that. An apostle and emperor of the Kashan Empire. He's trying to surpass the God Hand. Okay, quick little uh, recap here. Essentially, the crew have boarded the Seahorse, the Lith Navy warship captained by Roderick, and have at long last set sail for Elfhelm. Living on board as guest brings about emotion. Brings about emotional shifts and a brief time of rest for each of the member of the group. As they each pursue their own aims, they again become aware that they have other people on their minds. Gut's journey to this point has eaten away at his mind and body, The Berserker armor has proven to be an additional ordeal. Even so, Gut's indomitable spirit, indomitable spirit has finally changed to faint hope into reality. Instead of achieving revenge against Griffith, Guts, though his feelings waver at times, has managed to ensure Casca's safety. The voyage to Elfhelm, however, has just begun. Uh, so it's not going to be a smooth just boat ride there? I mean, this is the narrator essentially saying... His faint hope in a reality. Instead of achieving revenge against Griffith, I still think he wants revenge. It's just not the top priority. I think priority number one is keeping her safe. But if he knew he could keep her safe and go get his revenge, he would. In my opinion. Personally. Man is looking rough. He doesn't look as malnourished, though. What's happening to him? Losing his eyesight? Is he turning into Itachi? What's going on here? Hell? Guts? Casca? Ahoy, airing yourself up here in the sea breeze won't do your injuries any good. Boss Guts. <laughs> just call me Guts, Captain. Then you can just call me Roderick. So what are you up to? Ah, you're keeping watch. Yeah, I don't need her ass falling overboard. Why don't you stick closer to her? Isn't she at risk? I mean... Come on, bro. Don't bring up sensitive topics here. Tell me, just what exactly is she to you? Oh, how much time you got? <laughs> don't know if I'm in the mood for one of these conversations, but... Is she your woman? Used to be? I want to say we're going through a little bit of a rough patch at the moment on the fact that she can't speak. Um, yeah, she hates us, I get it. Well... Oh wow, and the two girls that essentially crush over him at any chance they get are listening to this too. <sighs> Do they know? I think... Shirka has seen through his memories... Um, but I don't think they've seen or they know what the relationship between the two of them is, do they? Or was. Because Shirka's only seen the horribleness on why Guts rages and hates the name Griffith and things like that. But I don't think she's seen the pa the connection between these two. I think so. Well, she's my... What? 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 Are you alright, Farnese? Leave her knees. Why did I just suddenly? Why I don't want to know. Oh, what's going on here? Did Shirka pull them back? Did Farnese pull herself back? Did neither of them want to hear that Guts actually is in love with her and that's his woman? So they pulled themselves out. That's interesting. What just happened right there? Why did I just suddenly? Hmm. Oh, Shirker didn't come. No, Shirker did come back. 
What happened? Hey. Okay. Now just a minute, miss. Oh no, Guts, you know you can't even be moving like this. What is she doing? Can we stop this? The thing is, like, he goes up there, it freaks her out more, she starts climbing closer to the edge, and he can't get... Oh lord, yeah, oh god. See? <laughs> this is the bullshit I'm talking about. I, I know it's not 100% her responsibility, but I'm gonna say it. They can't be doing this shit with her unaccounted for. She needs to be in the room with them. It needs to be, all this needs to be done well when Casca's asleep. That's the only time we can assure that she, shit like this doesn't happen. Oh lord. Yes, we know she's not going to come back. This is awful. This is terrible. Because like everybody and their mother can always assess the situation that Casca gets herself into. And if she would just stop. But the thing is, like, when Guts tries to get her to stop, it just accelerates her and makes it worse. But I'm to the point now where, like, maybe it hasn't been long enough, but, like, I'm going to just start getting over that shit. Do you not see the things I do for the group? For real, for real? I'm going to need you to... And I get it, but it's also like, come on. We do so much for you. She just, like, jump off? She damn near tried it. And here's the thing. He grabs her, right? How freaked out is this about to be? As his arm is splinted up and shit. Lucky it was your good... No, he's got to be having... No, 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 no. This has to be a... He's got to be having like a fever dream. No shot. This is actually real. Is this happening? Because like, why is her... It looks like they're giving her some like creepy demonic smiles or something like she's doing it on purpose like she's being controlled and I'm like there's no way Guts would ever actually drop her but I guess he's hurt that bad that he couldn't even hold on because I was going to say good thing he dropped she dropped to his hand side and not the fake hand side but he couldn't even hold her but I don't think he has even has the mean no that is his fake hand side. Oh god I don't know this whole thing's a mess and now who's going to go in there I mean he's going. Wait you're in no shape to. Yo, Shirka, can you give us something? Man overboard, heave ho. Is she going to fight us down here? You know, this happened before. Yeah, it is. God almighty. Don't struggle as she damn near drowns my ass. Guts? Oh, sh who's going to get him? Left arm's too heavy. Now I remember. Anytime she stands next to water, nothing good ever comes of it. Yeah, correct. I don't even know who this girl is that they're showing in these little snippets here, but... Hmm. Bittersweet, painful memories of distant days, but at the end, it's always... Oh. How'd they get it? They keep doing it. Like, how are we getting from point A to point B? How'd they get his ass out of that water? Oh, did uh, old Cockrick go get him? I'm guessing, the, by the way, his hair looks wet and everything. Guts, you push yourself too hard in the shape, in that shape, and of course you're going to drown. Roderick rescued you. Well, maybe now we're a little closer to even. I'm hoping he didn't use mouth to mouth. Appreciate it, Puck. Casca, you mustn't take sudden movements. Fear not, she is alive and well. Bernice is giving her a hot bath at the moment. Alright. I'll uh, take a nap. Look at the scars, though. If you would all please excuse us. Guts needs his rest. I must redraw the erased talisman uh, from the water. If you need anything, just say the word. Uh, is he in even worse shape? I'm sorry, please sit up once more and face away. And the body is wrecked. Look at the scars. And the thing is, like... Oh, so it was his fake hand that held on. Wow, YouTube is really about that, um... You listen to ad shit these days. I need them to calm down one time. Huh. Question. Shirka. You do shit, right? 
you dabble in the uh in the magic. This thing I got here. Can you not There's got to be something you know that can re-sprout that, right? I'd forgotten it's just a lump of iron I attached so I could beat up my enemies. She slipped right through. I guess even if you force back what was lost, it still won't be the way it was. Hmm. Trying to think the shot I want. I think, I mean, we've got a couple good shots here. Got the Griffith shot. This one's actually pretty great, too. I actually, ooh, that one might be it. I'm not why. The Griffith shot's pretty great, but we've, we've seen this man in silhouette so many times. I really, really like the, uh... That Farnese, like, looked like she was, like, free-falling. I thought that was a good shot, too. Double panel. I thought that was a great-looking shot. Let me see here. Especially, with, like, both of them in frame. Here's the thing. It might not generate the most clicks. I think if I put Griffith on there, it'll probably get more views just from the thumbnail. But that might be my favorite one. Just because, I mean, you never really see her get a moment or anything like that um so we fast forward a little bit here narrator kind of gave us a little like update on what's going on i don't know why he had to hint at like the road won't be that easy to get here hopefully we don't run into some shit i don't know the current reaper it doesn't seem like there's going to be any i guess maybe besides the surface level scarring there's going to be an issue long term to guts like you know like losing the ability to like use limbs or like a bunch of built up like scar tissue or something too crazy that's gonna like slow him down. Um, I'm curious what they decide to do with the armor though. He end up controlling it. Does Shirka end up like doing it for him? Because uh, it seems to be the only thing giving us a chance um, against these apostles. And if the time comes against Griffith, it might be the only thing giving us a chance as well. I see the relationship between, well, the, the relationship on Casca's side hasn't changed towards the way she's feeling towards Guts. And I get it, especially after he, you know, attempted with her, what he attempted when the kind of the demon within him took over. Um, but no Griffith, nothing too crazy that episode. It's a little bit of training. Barnice kind of doing her first astral projection um, in the state of Guts, and that's pretty much where we're at, so... Leave it there. We'll see what happens. Appreciate it, everybody. Like, share, favorite, subscribe, and as always.